a meaningful, I think, to a lot of people. What do you think? Why do you think this documentary in particular is important? How many peaceful revolutions do you know where no one's died and a whole, you know, kind of relic oligarchic system has been replaced by a progressive democracy claiming their own lives? Not many. No. So this, this story is extremely important. It's a David versus Yes, absolutely. How did you meet the director? Gadi and I have been friends for a long time. Uh, Gadi and Alec actually co directed the first movie that I ever scored in 1915. Oh. And uh, yeah, so we've been friends for a long time and, and worked with this nonprofit organization, Creative Armenia, and uh, and when and so so we yeah we've known each other for a little bit. quite a bit. I lived, I've lived in Armenia for a long time. We've been struggling for democratic change in Armenia for more than ten years. And I've actually been filming the democratic struggle in Armenia for more than ten years. So actually, when this protest began, when this revolution began, I had no idea it was going to become the spectacle of democracy and freedom that it ended up being. Um, but I I was always there and I was hoping this day would come and when it came, we captured it. What made you want to get into documentaries in the first place? It was out of necessity. We, we live in a country, uh, Armenia, that is un underexposed, that's been defined for a hundred years mostly by the legacy of the Armenian Genocide. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an event about which I've made a movie and many Armenian filmmakers have made their own movies and books and music. But here was an opportunity to portray another side of Armenia, an inspiring, exciting aspect of being Armenian and, and, and the human spirit that was ready to erupt inside of us. Even though we believed that we were a tragic and kind of depressed nation, inside of us this liberty was waiting to explode. Um, so telling your own stories is always important. Oh, telling absolutely. stories that nobody else knows and nobody can tell except you because you're there. Um, and it's a, I hope it also serves as an encouragement. Um, you know, the best stories are the ones that are happening right in your own backyard. Oh, absolutely. And so in our own backyards, we had this spectacular revolution that we're now delivering to you. Did you get involved with the film, and why did you want to produce this particular documentary? Well, I've been involved in the struggle for freedom in Armenia for many years, uh, thanks to being Armenian, and yes, thanks to Gadi, who's my best friend since middle school. So uh, I've been there in the prior failed revolutions, uh, 2013 specifically. And uh, for me, this is sort of my life mission was for Armenia to achieve its freedom. Um, it was a no-brainer to produce this. Uh, it was something that I'd been producing years before it actually happened. I'm excited for this to come out and people to see it because I feel like in this country, everybody, well, I would like to think everybody knows about the genocide right now. Obviously, that's not true at all. I know, sadly. But I feel like they really don't know about the revolution in 2018. So I, I'm very happy to see a documentary that hopefully educating people more as well. Well, not just educating, but I think entertaining and inspiring. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because this is the ultimate inspiring story. This is the ultimate triumph of the underdog. And this is the ultimate uh, This is the ultimate story of how one can change one's lot in life. And in not only political life, but personal life. You will see people in this story who did something that everybody thought was absolutely impossible up to hours before it actually happened. So that's a lesson that I think is a very pleasurable thing to observe and absorb. 